Hi, Tim Cant here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at a beat I made using the AI audio generation features found in WavTool, a free online DAW. AI audio generation allows you to create a sample from a text prompt, and this track is based around one of these samples. You can find a download with the project and samples in the video description, and if you like what you hear, please like and subscribe. So, this track is based around a sample that I created using AI in WavTool. To generate a sample in WavTool, all you have to do is bring up the conductor by pressing enter, then in the list all skills menu, select generate audio with AI. Here you can enter a text prompt and WavTool will generate a sample for you. You own the content you create with WavTool, so if you create a sample in WavTool and make a banger track with it, you can do what you like with it. You don't have to license it from anyone or pay anyone any royalties. And what's more, it's not going to set off any copyright claims on places you might post your music because it's literally just being created. So, if you're entrepreneurially minded, this is an interesting prospect. Before I made this project, I created two samples. The first was with the prompt sustained string, and sure enough, it made a sustained string sample. Pretty cool. It's got like a slick glissando thing at the end, and it's definitely got a human emotional feel. However, I wanted something a bit funkier for a beat, so I tried the prompt R&B vocals. Now clearly, that's not an R&B vocal, but I really like the guitar sound, which kind of has an African flavor, plus there's a big bass sound and some nice drums in there, so I thought I'd go ahead with that. I asked the WavTool team about the inconsistency between the prompt and the resulting audio, and they said WavTool doesn't really make vocal samples. So I made a plan to use this sample, add some of my own drums over the top, and then find a vocal sample from one of the subscription-based sites I use. The first thing I wanted to do was slice the sample up, so I dragged it onto an audio track and used the sample start marker to pick the point I wanted the sample to start at. You can hold control to bypass the snap to grid function, which will help you get a more accurate start point. I created two chops and they both start on a kick with a bass note playing. The next thing I did was create a track with a sample on it. You can then use the pick clip button on the sampler slot to load up a clip from the project. So I loaded the two clips onto sampler slots and that meant I could play them back via MIDI. Next I set the project tempo to the speed of the sample and sequenced a pattern like so. Very simple, but this gives us the backbone of the track. Of course, I like as much flexibility as possible when making a track, so next I wanted to split this little loop I'd made into stems. To do this, I exported the loop using export, download file, download.wav. Then I dragged it back into the project on a new audio track. Now I had the loop as an audio file, so I could right click it and use the split to vocals drum bass other function, and WavTool did just that. So, as mentioned, we don't have any vocals, but we do indeed have the drums, bass, and guitar and other miscellaneous stuff on their own audio tracks. Clicking add all as new clips adds these stems to the project. Now I have these elements on their own tracks, I could mix them how I wanted. So I turned them up a touch, making the bass a touch louder and the other track relatively quiet. Another advantage of splitting up the audio in this fashion is that you can then use WavTool's copy as MIDI on the musical parts. I did this with the other part, then tidied the MIDI up to get these chords, which I played back with the WinWav ePiano preset in the Grid Multi Sampler. I used an EQ band effect set to low pass filter mode to smooth this sound out. Next, I wanted to add some 808 style beats, so that's what I did. 
at this. I use the Arc Trap Drums preset and sampler, plus some tracks with my own 808 samples that used mono sampler. You can find these samples linked in the description. These parts were very simple, although for the open hat part, I did add some 64th note rolls, some of which changed the pitch of the sample playback. Nothing too wild though. So as mentioned, I wanted a vocal in this beat, so I scoured the various online sample libraries for something suitable, and I found this beauty, which I can't include in the sample pack download, but I will tell you that I used WavTool's warp function to time stretch it to the project tempo, then I chopped and rearranged it so that it fitted with everything else. I applied some tempo delay with the delay time set to half a beat to make it sound more atmospheric and routed it to the sidechain bus so that it ducks slightly in volume when the 808 kick drum plays, which helps the kick sound loud in the mix. To keep the arrangement rolling, I added an 808 crash cymbal. And a riser effect. So here's a simple arrangement to give you an example of how I'd switch elements up to keep things moving. It's only short, so let's just take a listen. You can open the project in the download with open project from zip in the file menu and you'll also find a sample pack download in the description too. Until I see you again, have fun!